All right, I'm on hole number two of the Redwood Cup Tournament. I'm in Monday's practice round of the Ricky Division. I'm in my 99 account. This is the first, this this round, starting on hole number one, this is the first round, the first time I've played the my lower level clubs on this. So I'm just trying to go out here today and see what the deal is on it. I think we have several options that we can do here. We can do a rough bump. We can hit from over here. I think we've got three options, really. You could hit from over here, hitting out into this area and trying to bring it across. You can do a rough bump in here, or you could try and bring it on this side and do backspin. I think where the red line's at, though, even with a three-power ball, that if you're on this side over here, you're going to be in your driver range. So that means you're going to have to bring out, if you wanted to do the rough bump, we're probably talking QB. You may have enough top spin to get up there. That'd probably be the, um, as far as ball guide and the rest of the stuff, your QB would probably be the best. If you were trying to do this, you'd need to have an upper developed rocket. And you've got, you probably have enough backspin to get over. If you're coming from over on this side, it's going to be wood and a wood with good ball guide. So even a lower level sniper. I think the sniper I have in this account is like level six. It doesn't have any of its power yet, but I think it would get it done nicely. I'm going to bring two, two different bag. I'm going to bring one bag with two different clubs. I want to check out and see what a rough bump would look like here. So I can bring this bag right here and I could use my sniper. So I don't have I don't have a lot of distance with it. With my QB, I should have more than enough. Let's take a I'm going to start off with a quasar, but I may let me start off with a katana. I'll cut the wind down just a little bit. If I'm using my quarterback, I'm going to hit it at 1.2 per ring, 1.25. If I'm hitting it with my sniper, it'll be at max club. I'm going to start off with a 20% wind adjustment and see how it goes. I know that there's some kind of a wind adjustment we need to do here, but I have no idea. I played it with my upper developed clubs and it's the same thing it always is for me as you can you can get the there's elevation stuff that's going around floating around out in the community and you can look at that but that doesn't always work for me so it's one of those things if you have to dial shots in for yourself this is why it's so important to film your gameplay because you can go back through and it's not just the replay that we get because we don't have any control over it. Once we're watching the replay, it is gonna, it's going to go through from beginning in and we can't pause it and we can't stop where we're counting the rings and do the math where we can be super critical of ourselves. Hindsight's 2020. We can't, we don't have that benefit when we're just looking at the replays. It's really important to record your gameplay. Then you can go back and be super critical. I may have to bring out a smaller ball. I may have to bring out a power one ball. We'll see where the red line stuff's at. Let's we'll see how my opponent does here. I'll be real quiet for him. <laughs> It's hard to tell. I have a hard time telling now with the new ring set on here for the perfect shot, whether I'm hitting one ring or two ring greats anymore. I know that it was wrong before, so you, there's no guarantee it was right before. So right there, three, nine. Let's see if there's enough side spin on here to get me over to the hole. So it'd be 1.2 times 3.9 equals divided by 1.25 is 3.74 rings. I don't think I have enough room to work the wind out. It'd be about 3.74. I think I'm gonna run into it right there, run across. So I'd have to either bring a lower wind ball or I'd have to start further off. I'm gonna short shoot it slightly. And I hit it great. Great to the left. So if I want to bring out, if I want to take that shot with my 
where I can do the rough bump there. I'm either going to have to bring out a much bigger ball to try and get there with my wood, or I'm going to have to bring out a one power ball so that I give myself more room on the red line. That's why we have a practice day here. I kind of like the idea of taking that with my quarterback because my quarterback is a little bit more developed. It's 100% accurate. My sniper is 100% accurate too, but getting close to the green right like that um, usually can take out a little bit of secondary wind effect. I'm going to hedge my bet. Maybe give myself two sides. And not a two ring great to the right. I think I am going to, I'll go back through when I'm done, I'll go back through and watch these videos and shake my head. But on that particular hole right there, what I'm going to put on my notes is that I'm going to use a quarterback, but I'm going to use a one power ball or a zero power ball. Excuse me. I'm going to use a zero power ball. So it gives me more room on my red line. I'll just take it with a Marlin. If I can, I may try it with a navigator and see if it pulls it back enough and that'll cut the wind down to two and try and take that shot from there. But I, I definitely like the idea of taking a rough bump, especially with a club that's that accurate. All right, so I got some I got some stuff that'll help me out possibly down the road. My intent is, is to qualify this account tomorrow. So I'm only gonna practice one round with it and then um, go out and see what happens and see what I can learn from today. So today is really all about trying to figure out what clubs to bring. I'm not super concerned about elevations right now. I'm just worried about what clubs I'm coming in. And once I establish I'm going to take the shot, then I'll really start focusing on elevations. All right, that was hole number two of the Redwood Cup and Monday's practice round in the rookie division. Thanks for watching.